Welcome back to GB Guns. Today I want to show you some of the more discreet options I use for transporting my bags. Uh, all three of these are from the same company, Elite Survival Systems. Coming up next on GB Guns. So we'll start off with the older ones. Uh, this bag we did a review on, I want to say 2015. Um, aside from a small Velcro strip here, it's fairly mundane looking as a messenger bag. Big open general pocket with no dividers or way of sorting things inside. Like I said, this is an older design from Elite Survival Systems, but it works really well for sub guns. As you can see, you've got four different strap setups here that you can adjust. Some are longer, some are shorter. This is a Grand Power Streebog that I have in here now. I use it a lot too for my Zenith Z5 RS. And uh, you can generally fit two sub guns of this size in here. It has a padded divider and on the other side you've got a velcro spot. This got a sub gun mag pouch that does have little uh, eyelets so it could be strapped onto something as a go bag grab kind of thing. Holds three 30 round stick mags of the Colt type, Grand Power type, MP5 mags, what have you. Um, nice bag carried it around downtown, believe it or not, my hometown, without um, drawing any extra attention. We'll move on. This guy's a lot bigger, <laughs> um, more of your backpacking style backpack. Also did a video on this, I think uh, maybe 2016 or so. Got full padded, breathable backpack and straps there. You've got a waist strap with pockets on the side just like you would expect on a hiking bag. The front has these little eyelets for tying things. I think I need to throw the word Nalgene in here because that seems like the kind of word that gets involved to people who like this, like Nalgene bottles. Um, up front, you've got a nice uh, standard organizer pocket, very much like a school bag. Then this larger bag, or larger pocket, We've got Molly that is also Velcro, a great spot to uh, insert any mag pouches, things like that, either the Velcro type or the Molly type if you want. Sometimes I shove a smaller sub gun type thing in here. And then the main event, which opens all the way up. Nothing like opening a bag to having a muzzle under your chin. Don't worry, it's not only cleared, but it's also separated from the lower. So, sorry safety folks, this is safe. Uh, but we have these two vertical spines. I'll move this out of the way. And through them, you can thread a loop to restrain or hold in place. And this will hold standard AR. You can see with this 12 and a half inch barreled um, Dark Storm Industries, still got plenty of room in here. I have hit fit full ARs in here, so kind of neat. But uh, these are the older bags. Let me show you the newer design. So this is the latest in their evolution of bags. This one's for sub guns or SBRs as well. You can see we've had a huge improvement in uh, or advancement in materials. It's got that rubberized kind of plastic deal. We've got a small outer pocket for well, you can put a pocket gun in there, but you know, basic smaller needs. Up front, these pull tabs have a nice rubber kind of shrink wrap covering on it that gives it, makes it really easy to grab and pull. And you can see we've got our organizer pockets. In this case, sorted color mags for different loads. Also a see-through window pocket down below here that's very thick, strong plastic. We have grab handles on the side, on the top. This one's nicely padded. And on the other side, our back is once again, that nice comfortable foam with the moisture wicking mesh. Great for sweaty guys like me. Same thing with the yoke. You notice that rather than it being straps, you've got the U shape here that fits very comfortably. And our waist pockets, just like before. I love the heather gray. Uh, some people I've heard in the uh, in the upper fashion industry refer to it as GB Guns Gray. Uh, now to go to the main pouch, which of course opens flat and wide, just like you saw in the other one. We have, once again, loopable 
hook and loop. So you can run Molly or Velcro, however you want on this side. And then for the storage of the actual firearm, same deal with a spine running along the back of the bag that you can orient any way you want and the strap to go around. This strap down at the bottom actually has a third piece so that you can create sort of a cup to hold your muzzle, which I think is really nice. Keeps the muzzle from stabbing into the bottom of the bag. Um, that helps protect the muzzle, also helps protect the bag, though this is quite heavily padded. And of course, on the bottom of it, you've got that nice rubberized material. So very, very nice, very urban looking bag uh, that provides a discreet way to transport. Why you might ask? Well, there's lots of different reasons. It depends on your line of work. It also depends on where you live and uh, what you have to transport. What I like about this, I mean, I have an SUV with tinted windows and plenty of space in the back, not a big deal. But if you're one of those folks with a small hatchback or a sedan and you want to go to the range and you want to walk in and out of your apartment without the neighbors freaking out, a bag like this is a great option also makes for a really easy go bag. If you were to fully kit this out, take full advantage of the Molly and Velcro in there and all the organization abilities, this is an, a go bag that is comfortable to carry, isn't gonna scream out and draw a lot of attention. And uh, as you saw, it can easily transport everything you need. What we have in here is a 10 and a half inch 300 blackout upper from Black Aura Tactical on a pistol lower, of course, with the folding device. But that's a decent firearm and it's fitting in this bag that really is not much larger than a standard book bag. So that's one of the ways we transport discreetly uh, thanks to Elite Survival Systems.